<sighs> what is up, y'all? My name is David. There's a fucking rat. It's a rat. Don't make me put you up. What is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I'm gonna be reviewing a product that, I'm gonna be honest, I had to grow my dick before I could give you a fair analysis. So, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, but also like the video, and the comment for today's video, drop for the algorithm, is going to be light, as in like, all this shit that makes me look 30 million times more attractive. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the Buck Off. Now, I was gonna put it in this, uh, the packaging that it came in originally. It came in this packaging. Definitely has more self-esteem and self-awareness than I do. I'll say that about this gentleman. So, he does have a smaller version of it, and you don't have to be on testosterone to use it. I did try to use that, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it did not work. It's possible that I wasn't using it properly. It is called the Kiss X, and the only difference between the Buck Off and the Kiss X is that the hole is smaller, and that is it, okay? So, the reason why I didn't review it straight out of the box for you guys is because how am I gonna tell you how something is a FTM stroker if I have not stroked myself? And this is gonna be a little bit of a, of a sexual explicit video, definitely will be demonetized and definitely will be made. I have washed my dick, so let's go. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of details about myself before I actually get into the product because I know a lot of pre-T guys and a lot of guys like they just want to know if this product can work for them with what they have so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself okay so I'm gonna keep it a buck I'm gonna keep it a buck and do not dick shame me because that'll be dumb disrespectful and I'll be indifferent towards it because I dick shame myself more than anybody else could my bottom growth <sighs> measured on hard is this big I measured it I measured it, it's this big, okay? From the tip of my pinky to almost the base. Almost the base, doesn't touch the base. With that being said, this feels big when my peen is inside of it. But I guess when you compare it, it actually makes a lot of sense that it would fit, so that's cool. I guess my dick is not as small as I would like to think. How do you use the buck off, Devin? And honestly, the first time that I purchased it, I lost it in a move, which is embarrassing for whoever found it. I was not able to use it. I was pissed the fuck off. I was like, fuck this product, everybody lied to me. Fuck you, Chase Ross, and everybody else who reviewed this because y'all were lying for the bread. I was fully intending, after repurchasing it from Amazon, to be like, yo, fuck this product again. I am gonna keep it above with you guys, and it actually, seriously, deadass, 100%, did work, and here's how you do it, okay? The first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously have this uh, buck off by Buck Angel. The second thing you're gonna need is either lube, apparently it says to use only water-based lube so it doesn't fuck up your product, or two, my favorite, Nature's Lube, Split, uh, Split, Spit, uh, it saves a lot of money, gets the job done just the same, okay? So, you take your dick, and you also have to take the little turkey gizzard thing over here part of your, I'm gonna put a picture up because I know I sound crazy right now. You take your dick and the other, you know what I'm talking about, and you shove it in there. So pretty much, say this is my turkey chin part, I put that in it first, and then I shove my dick down in there and pretty much put it on there, right? So everything is inside it now. So this is the fun part where you get to jerk yourself off. Depending on whatever is your dominant hand, for me I am right-handed, you'll take the opposite hand and hold it at the base. This is what's gonna keep everything firm because I do not like, I try to rely solely on the suction, but suction comes and goes. So I was holding it like a little ciggy, which I've never done, only twice in my life. And I was holding it at its base to make sure that it's secured to my area, to my man bits, and I grabbed it like this. Now, you wanna go like this to make sure that it's actually suctioned, okay? Because if it's not suctioned, you're not really gonna feel any pleasure, and it kinda serves no purpose. Wiggle it around, make sure that it's nice and spitty or looby in there, and make sure that all your bits are secured in there. So this is the crazy part, okay? Once everything is secured in there, your dick, your turkey, giblets, everything is in there, you pull it. If everything's in there properly, those little ridges, hopefully you can see it, are gonna rub up on your dick. And it's gonna be pulling. Oh my god, what? It's like having another appendage, bro. Like, you could actually feel it. It's like this up here, you could feel it in your actual dick. It's crazy. I gotta give a shout out to my man because I did not believe in this product whatsoever. Honestly, the shit do be working. There you fucking go. 
this shit works. Just to go over it one more time, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have all your turkey giblets and your dick inside of the hole. You wanna make sure that there is some type of lube or moisture water-based because apparently spit is water-based inside of the hole as well. You want to make sure you secure it down with your non-dominant hand and you want to jerk off with your dominant hand and nut. Alright guys, so that is the video. If you did enjoy, you go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Like I said, comment lights for the algorithm. Like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin's a Don and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.